Hello, hello, everybody. We are going to be continuing our Persona 3 Portable Adventures. Last time, it was mostly just more going about and doing things. We tried our best to get to the next sub-boss of Tartarus, but just didn't have the, like, uh, spirit energy to keep going before I felt like I had to turn back. But otherwise, it was mostly just more social links. We learned that there's like some guy that shows up at the club, I believe, but we never ran into him. Although it's evening. I think we're going to go look and see if he was available. But first we got a... Uh, I forget if I talked to everybody, so let's check and see. Mm, definitely know that we talked about that. So that one, I think we talked to Kutsky. Well, with that out of the way, we're gonna head to Zemol and see. Well, actually, first things first, I'm gonna actually head to my dorm room just to look at the calendar because I believe yellow is full moon yeah because we already passed that which wasn't a full moon definitely not so we have roughly a little over a week Uh, like a week and a half until the next full moon. Definitely need to do more Tartarusing at some point. And one thing I also need to do is really decide on, like, what social links I want to go down. Because I don't know, like, the best method. If it's just, like, pick days that, like, basically it just seems to be on any given day where there's an available like available social links you need to decide if you want to like which social links you want to go down more than anything well he's not here let's check the police because we can da, da, da. Because we did get a bulletproof shirt, I think, from a quest. That's odd. Why is going down blue, but going up red? That's a little weird. And again, the Akihiko Tuxedo. Da, 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 da. Hmm. Because next month you should open up, I think. So I think we'll check out the club. Nah, well, might as well talk to everybody and see if there's like any difference. Something called Den Mother or Mama. Very weird presence. I think we already talked about that. From YouTube chat. Hi, what's happening? Just checking out the club at night. To see if anything's changed. Gonna, like, talk to everybody. Hmm. Maybe check and see if everybody's status is good. Because if nobody's tired, maybe we'll go to Tartarus. What about you? Yep, same thing. Interesting club music. And evil Tanaka ain't even here. I guess we can go and see if there's, like, any... Like, requests. Doubtful. Nah, just the one that 
I failed to get. Unless there's, like, a secondary day. Just gonna look over these just because I can. I guess I should see if... Nope, can't register Persona, so everybody's already registered in their current state. And... We'll see, because... So it's either... Let me check everybody's status. I'm good. Good, good, good. Everybody's good, so we could go to Tartarus if we wanted to. Because the only things I could do is either study, like maybe work at Chagall Cafe, karaoke, karaoke, or do something at the game for like stats, either Persona or mine. Depends, depends. Don't know. Well, let's see what's available tonight at Game Panic. Quiz game. Big boost to my academics. Then again, there's like nobody here. And I think it's a good idea to try and get Tartarus like, well, then again, again. There's probably, because hmm, I don't know. The only real thing keeping me from wanting, well, then again, again, again. I guess it wouldn't be terrible because I don't know if the if there's going to be another request from the Velvet Room about getting to the second barrier in Tartarus and be like, ah, collect the word thingy at the second barrier. So, And I don't know if that spawns if I don't have the request. So I don't know if it's a good idea to wait until like, more requests pop up, but I don't know when that'll be. Especially because the full moon is really close in the next month. It's like the... Barely, like, I don't even know. It's like the first Monday of the next month. So I don't know. Could go to Tartarus... Then again, even if I do clear out what's available of Tartarus right now, and the word thingy for the, because I it's just, I assume it's going to be a like a continued like quest line or request line, since there was a word document thingy at the first barrier after we unlocked the requests. Then I assume there's going to be another one but even if we do get to the second barrier and there's nothing there unless we get the request it's still decent like grinding I guess against the potential full moon boss cause <laughs> I swear if we get a full moon and there's no boss it's gonna be weird then again we haven't had apathy syndrome people showing up for a while so maybe this full moon, I'm uh, again if I that it because it should be the full moon, the like yellow glowing part of the icon. And we're barely like less than two weeks away from the next full moon. And apathy syndrome people aren't showing up, so who knows? Hmm. I shall make my emergency save state of sociality. And then I need to decide, because it's either work at the cafe, do quiz game for big academics boost, or go to Tartarus. Because everyone's good. And I think we were close to the next, like, how many mini-bosses were there in the first section of Tartarus? There were the birds that were weak to piercing. There were the big hands who, like, slapped my shit. Then there was, like, the big robot dude that was immune... Well, not Im well, immune to physical attacks and 
didn't have any weaknesses, and yet oddly, so th three, three bosses. And I think we beat up the flaming tables. So two more bosses? So I guess we could go to Tartarus. I guess we can go to Tartarus. Everyone status, everyone can go. Let's go to Tartarus. And then I need to decide if I want to fuse like anybody. Like, I guess I could play fast and loose. Like, only keep the, like, personas that I absolutely know that I'm gonna go down the social links for characters. Like, I'm gonna keep Jack Frost because... He has things to give me. I'm gonna keep... Uh... Wait a minute. I feel like something's off. I actually do feel like something's off. Because I thought I got Unicorn. Did I load the wrong save? I don't think I did. Let me see. We got U Sticks, Imitation Naginata. Bulletproof Vest, because we did finish the... Yeah, because I think we finished, like, I don't know. I thought we had Unicorn. Let me check my Persona Compendium. Because I, I know we got Unicorn. Somewhere. Very weird. Because I know I loaded a save, so I definitely need to look over my saves. Hmm. Well, we have a save state, so I'll reset to load and see if I, like, uh, access the, the wrong one, because I could have sworn that we... Like, I don't know. Because we had Unicorn, but it wasn't in the compendium, which is weird. So I'm going to check all my saves just to be safe. Okay, the 27th. And that was two days ago. So, yeah, hmm, weird. But I know that we got Unicorn. Let me check my social links, actually. Volleyball to level 5. Librarian to level 4, so... And level 2 with Tanaka. But then where did my unicorn go? Or does it name some... I feel weird. Also, I'm fairly certain we got rid of you. Because I did saving. I did lots of saving. Hmm. Huh. Since we have a save state, I'm gonna... Like, I don't know. I feel like something's weird. Actually, I'm gonna load state and see. Oh, but I use my... Uh, bleh, hmm. But still. Because this is my combat save state. Like, I don't know. I feel weird. Like, something's off. Because also, I'm fairly certain I was... I, I don't know. My brain is just bleh. My brain is very, very bleh right now. But we did get to rank 5 volleyball with Rio. And then, like, rank 4 with Sayori. And we did that last time. And yet, it feels like... Unicorn is missing. Again, because... Because we did do the triangular sword mission, which was during last stream. Oh. 
Which is weird, because I know that we fused Unicorn. And yet... Unicorn doesn't seem to be available anywhere. Which is very weird. Maybe you thought maybe you thought you fused Unicorn. No, it very much did, because it did the same like uh Ah, there's something special about Unicorn. Level him up for a big reward. And also I'm fairly certain that I did a triangle fusion and got a guy. Uno momente. This is this is bothering me something fierce. Cuz I'm just gonna see what day. Yes. I think I might have failed to save. Because, yeah, my recording goes to... Ah, uh, that's what happened. I'm an idiot. Yeah. I'm a big old fool. Now I know what happened. Because I loaded my save, and I forgot that I did a save state load for the next day. But I forget. I'm fairly certain... Hmm. I wonder, though, because, like... I'll definitely need to... Be, just, like, my brain just went bleg. Big old bleg. Which does mean that we're gonna have to suffer through... Like, Tartarus a bit more. Because that's what happened. Because I think that's what happened. Go ahead and make Unicorn again. That's even the same one, too. And then let's see. Could automatically get Yomotsu back. Huh. Funnily enough, you were the guy that I triangle fused last time, I think. Well, since Orpheus isn't going to do much for us right now, I guess I'll grab Yomotsu back. So that's what it is. It's my mismanagement of my saves. on through Tartarus again. We'll use this team to go through Tartarus. I oh, know. Go back. Bleh. Yeah, because we ended last stream next, like, the 20, the morning of the 28th, so, like, at the very least, we only lost Tartarus progress and not a lot of everything else. That's what happened. Hello, hello. <laughs> we just got done sleuthing down my mistake. So we have to go through Tartarus again a decent bit, but that's all that we lost. Let's see how many... Well, first I need to also make sure I have a good persona in a combat role. I guess Jack Frost to try and get to his like heart. His max him out all his skills. 
get something special reward. Three enemies present. Don't get careless. If I remember correctly, Boof who annihilates you hand guys. Fairly certain. Damn it. It was the other way around. Let's try and get rid of the bird. Because if I think the bird is actually pretty scary. This one at least. But now we can aggie these guys. Because now I remember. For some reason I always think it's the other way around. For some reason I assume that Bufu annihilates them when it's the aggie. Punch the bird. It remains alone. You'd think the bow would do, like, extra damage. How dare you dodge, bird? That's illegal for birds to do. Stufel time! I think we got rid of Chimera, so we can get a new Chimera. We probably just get an imitation Naginata out of that anyway. Damn it. I thought I fused Chimera. My brain is just thrown all out of whack because of my mental failings. Well, you're a big boy. You have like four in you. Damn it, it's these guys. There are four enemies. And I forget what they're like. Well, first things first, you're gonna go next. Weak to fire, eh? And then you're next, so we might as well swap to Chimera and blast you. Four enemies remain. Stay cautious. And even then, there's a chance for the, these tables to dodge. You attacked the enemies. All right, let's do this. No, we will not. Because if I knock them all down and all out attack them, that's more valuable. I also have to give props to the animation on these table guys. Their flop is just so like Alice in Wonderland. That's not what a table is supposed to do. All out attack time. Stufel time. I guess we can... Should we grab you? I feel like better... I think I'll go for the bonus experience, if, even if it's just like a little bit. Just a little bit bonus experience. You're a tiny one. You will die alone. I think Zeo knocks these guys out, but I don't think I have a Zeo in my... Oh, no. Nope. Unicorn. Unicorn has Zeo. We are not going to Hama you. Because I know that's pointless. So it doesn't really matter who I attack, who I prioritize. Go, my horse. Oh, I thought it was Zeo that did you win. Damn it. Roger. I'll attempt to analyze the enemy. We already know that it's not Zeo. But I guess we can focus down you. My memory for remembering types is just bad. Well, actually, let's see. Nah, uh, you're gonna go next. Might as well see. Ah, damn it. That's the worst thing. Ah, Jack Frost. Come out and freeze these birds. Two enemies remain. Don't get careless. But we mustn't be careless. So we'll try to annihilate this one. And then deal with Super Evasion Lad. Damn it! How dare you avoid the winter! Finish it off. 
One enemy remains. I guess really we should just be normal attacking. Keep our SP. Not the gorilla. I probably could have just attacked you. But still, that guaranteed your death. And a stufa time! We already have you, so I guess I'll go for the money. Where? And a sudden surge of energy. That's a lot of money. Thank you, game. That was basically the amount of money that I had on my person before I did that shuffle time. Well, you're a tiny little guy. You're either going to be terrifying or easy. One enemy detected. And Yukari decided not to join us today. Sorry, Yukari. We shall boof of the bird. Attack again. I've been waiting for this. Kick its ass. While you kick birds' asses, remember to stay hydrated. Hey, we can get Omaikane back. And not summon the devil. Well, death. Although I just realized something that's slightly funny to me, and it's that Yukari uses a bow at the same distance that I use a Naginata. Which is not really, like, best arrow practice, I don't think. Ah, you're a big boy. Gonna be three or four? These guys again. Be careful. There are four enemies. And it was Zeo, if I remember correctly, I did you in. The enemy's weakness is fire. Ah, the fire. This is why I like... I don't know why. My mind is just not in the game today. The save mix-up just... I'm a fool. My brain got stuck on the original bad presumption. I am a horrid monster. You know what? Let's go for the funny. For the funny aha. Hama that guy. Kill him. Kill him now. Murder the dinner table. <laughs> the dinner table has been murdered. All is right in the world. Whenever things look bad, just order your unicorn to one-shot kill that motherfucker. Beat them all up. Stoof of time. Eh, we'll go for the double weapon, or level two weapon card. I see you. Give me that imitation Naginata. Ah, Kashido Blade! Hell yeah. An actual weapon! We can sell for actual money! Ah, me pata Patra Jim. Better than the you Patra Jim. Die. Three enemies. I believe Bufu should be what does you in, I think. Maybe, if my memory serves. Let's look at you. If you survive long enough. Jack Frost, he ho that bitch. Damn it. Three enemies remain. Three enemies are jerks. Oh, they're weak to Zeo. Blast them away. When in doubt, just spam your spells. Kick their ass. A boom. Another stufel time. I guess we're gonna get nothing because I'm not summoning the devil. Come here, duplicate of Oimaikane. I am not gonna summon the 
the Grim Reaper. I refuse. You can't make me. Bufu does these guys in, I'm fairly certain. They appear distraught. They are scared of the hee-ho that comes towards them. Yes! Hee-ho! Right, no, I have a plan. Hmm. A part, one part of my brain is going... Just basic attack him and hope for a crit. I mean, these guys are basically dead. And we do need to keep our SP up if we can. Damn it. Then we'll knock his friends out. Now you can't heal your friends. And there's the crit. Only downside is we don't get stufel time. I don't even know if all-out attacks guarantee trouble. Oh, hey, big thing. I got <laughs> I got a homunculus. Okay. What's a homunculus? Even. Protects itself from a Hama or Mudo skill? Why would a homunculus protect you from instant death? Well, you're tiny. You're going to be scary or not. One enemy detected. Bufu kills you. I remember now. My memory is recovering. You've been waiting to kick this bird while it was down. Stufu time. Well, I guess we're going for the rank one weapon. I got a wood stick. And Polyduces got leveled up. Another mini man. Kill him. Kill him now. In the exact same way, apparently. Hee-ho! It's your day, Jack Frost. Attack again. Here's our chance for an all-out attack. Another stuffel time. I will go level two. <laughs> There's the imitation Naginata I was calling. Sarcastically for last time. I do still find it a bit odd how the like analyzing system works because Be if you do there it correctly, you should be weak to Aggie, right? It's just the fact that if you are good at the game and you this game does seem to be demanding you to be decent at like weaknesses, all out attacks and stuff. There really isn't enough rounds to analyze enemies. So it's a little mean of the game to go remember to analyze when like the possibility of you using Analyze well is difficult more than anything. It's only going to happen if, you, if you're if you in a bad spot. And then it doesn't even work against the bosses. Give me that stufel time. Uh, we could get Pixie for fusion fodder. Yeah, sure, we'll grab Pixie for fusion fodder. Because we just get, like, what, 500, 800 yen from the rank 1 money card. Dude, dude. I still really like the music. Ah, it's a glowy. It's a glowy. It's going to be the muscle man! Two enemies detected. Strike first. 
I need to remember, basic attacks are jack against these guys. I think it's CO that works against them. I could do Hama! Like, maybe if there's... room. All-out attack isn't a good idea against these guys because they have too much health. It's better to try and stun them. I was about to use a basic attack, but that would be very bad. Zeo! And we basically have to use our spell attacks because they have... Well, then again, maybe if they're down on the... Well, no. I'm fairly certain that I tried that before. And even on the ground, dizzied and stuff, they're rather... Just like... Impossible to schmack. Because he's a big old jerk and doesn't want to die. Die, muscle man, die. Goodbye, muscle man. Hey, we got shuffle time for our problems. Hey, well, we already have you, hair lady, so... Level one... We're gonna get a stick. We're gonna get a stick. We got a stick. And a lot of money! I really do like the vibes of this game. The vibes are immaculate. Also, just like how deep this damn place goes. Ah, great, it's another glowy, and I don't even have a treasure chest down there! Oh, I thought it was a glowy. It's just these guys. Huh. Well, fire if I re Let me double check. Triple check time. Weak to fire. I just wanted to make sure. Again, I kind of wish that there was a timeline of actions. Just so I could better map out my attacks. Because if Junpei went before one of those guys, I might have let him go. And not... Use my magic spell power. You exploited the enemy's and since attack. I can only see who goes second, I do not trust the game. More shuffling of the deck of fate. I think we already have Thornius. Or did I use you? Because I used Omaikane. And Orpheus, so I think it'd be best to just go with the heal. And then I'll triple check my persona list myself. My memory is just terrible. Yep, we already had a Fornius. I gotta second guess everything. Smack the big guy. There are four enemies. Strike first. Run. I think it's. I'll attempt to analyze the enemy. Because I think these are weak to Zeo. So I'll bring out Unicorn. Ah, there's too many of them to risk not using Zeo. A wisely chosen attack. Let's not. You exploited the enemy. Let me pitch in. Next, they have one more. Like I completely forget how that mechanic works. Let's beat him up. Curb stomp them all.
Now oh, we can get Nekomata, which is probably the better investment. Fusion fodder. Die. Three enemies detected. Well, since he's coming up next, I'll just smack the bird. Then we'll aggie these guys. Blast him. Another enemy down. Booyah. One enemy remains. Please hit. Damn it. <laughs> right when you ask to hit, you miss. The enemy's weakness is ice. Use it often. Damage? Like DM. Hmm. Don't think I've ever seen that before. Come along, Jack Frost. We won't actually use you, but we'll just smack him a bit. Not bad, huh? And a lot of bunny. Huzzah. Sayonara, Shadow. I have indeed been surprising the enemy. Like this. If this counts as surprising. Three enemies present. Don't get careless. But we mustn't be careless. Persona! You are weak to Bufu. Die. Let's not. Because we're one away from an all-out assault of murder. Attack again. I've been waiting for this. And I don't feel like I'm in, a, I'm in a strong enough position to, like, mess around with mechanics. More shuffle time. <laughs> a hee-ho, but we already have a hee-ho. Uh, so, a level two weapon. Give me that. It's another imitation Naginata. Because that's what I want out of my level 2 weapon cards. Knockoffs. Die. <laughs> Got this. Like, when a shadow starts running at me, it's always a bit scary. Well, hey. You are the Aggie motherfuckers. The problem is... I guess we can risk... getting to the boy. Let's see how good Zio is against you as a funny aha. Damn it. Akihiko is frozen. Cover him. And we won't be able to do Damn you! Screw you, game, you bad. Well that's just mean. This is why I hate not doing things, because the game is me. It's like, oh, I'll be tactical and let Junpei get hits in, and so I don't use up all of my SP. There is no tactics here. There are no tactics anywhere. Might as well do a medical powder. Just to her. Akihiko is dizzy. Assist him somewhere. Again, though, like, the random misses are just annoying. Here's a 0 0.01 chance for everything to miss, and it happens one-tenth of the time. 
That's what it feels like. And it just doesn't feel good. Because again, makes me not want to actually try strategy and instead just abuse weaknesses because there's no other f anything to do. Oh, what's that? You tried to do strategy? Fuck your strategy. You missed. Why did you miss? We're not gonna let you know. It's an RPG. Keep forgetting that those exist. I still don't know how to sneak up on them. If I need to, like, gently do it, or if I need to equip the rubber soles. You're a big old glowy guy. We'll go after this one instead. Two enemies which I do believe is Bufu. Come on in, Jack Frost. I'm like 90 per- Oh no, it was Zeo. I keep forgetting, because you have the same mask as those other ones. Well, might as well Bufu you. Because that was my strategy. You used wind against the wrong one, you fool. Damn you, random missing! The enemy is weak against electricity. Like, I don't know, there's just something weird about, like, the combat at certain points. Where it's like, oh yeah, these guys, they're nothing to worry about. They're super easy. You miss one attack, you're getting your ass handed to you. It just feels like the balance is a little wacky and dependent on the weaknesses. Hmm, I guess we'll swap Pixie out for you. I said swap Pixie. The fact that the, there's a little delay of that just always bothers me. And it only seems to be for that text box. At least we got medicine. Excuse us, Squishy. Goodbye. You're a big guy. How many are in you? Be careful. There are four enemies. Because you guys are the Aggie guys. So we need Chimera out here. And because strategy means nothing in this world, I might as well just. <laughs> Maybe this is why they don't let you buy the like soul powder or like snuff powder or whatever it is because if you could just stack up on snuff powder you could nearly perpetually get through all the lower levels of tartarus before bosses just like super easily since you can swap your personas out because they're relying on you to like oh i'll let one of my allies go and then you miss and then you just get annihilated. More shuffle time. We'll go for level one weapon. Or like, rank one card weapon. An imitation katana. Level one gives you imitation katana. Level two gives you imitation naginata. It's just the law of the land. Do 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 Die, big man. These guys again. There are four enemies. Yeah, four enemies. Yes, the enemy is vulnerable. Attack. Like again, I wish that I could see further in to combat. Just to be able to know if I can risk, like, just killing one enemy and then going to Junpei to kill the others. 
I have to waste all of my power. Or else they'll start kicking my ass. Like, come to think of it, this, like, feels very feast or famine in terms of gameplay. Like, either you are annihilating the enemy or the enemy is annihilating you. There is no in-between. Annihilate them all. More stufer time. I think we have all my con, eh? So I guess we'll grab the heal. No idea how good of a heal it is. I wish it was SP restoration. But then again, that would be a bit too overpowered. We can't let the player actually... Res you motherfuckers again! Oh, I hate you! I hate you all! Yeah, that's how it is sometimes with turn-based RPG combat. It just feels like a bit, like, more extreme. Like, I don't know. Because even with Pokemon being very much, ah, special effective and stuff, like, never felt this extreme and screw you, you bastard. You motherfucker. Roger. I'll attempt to analyze the enemy. Four enemies remain. And then I can just aggie the survivor. So what's your opinion about RNG luck in video gaming? It just all comes down to balance. Because if something's, like, some parts can be more RNG than others. But it depends on, like, well, I guess we're going to grab he Oh, because we don't want to summon the, the evils. But RNG requires a balance, because if it's too RNG, then there's, like, no reason to get invested in the actual strategy. And, like, strategy means nothing. We could just immediately go if we wanted. Like, again, I have no idea how to sneak up on these guys. Like, no idea. But it all comes down to... Three enemies present. Don't get careless. Just, like... How impactful the RNG is. Like, here, it feels like the RNG is... Very heavy. Primarily because... All it takes is for you to miss once. And if you miss once, then the enemy can really get hits in on you and dominate you, make you miss turns, do a lot of damage to you. And it just feels like the misses come out randomly. Like, more so than any other game in this, like, you can go almost like an entire Tartarus run and not get a miss. Or, like, do a Tartarus run where everybody is feeling fine. There's no tiredness on your team. But you just go in and just misses all around. And again, the fact that it's very difficult to, like, uh, buh 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 with the witch. Here's a chance. Let's get him. I guess I might as well. But I think it's even worse in this game because, like, if you do miss, it seems to have multiple weaknesses. One then. Like, again, that allows the enemy to make you miss turns and do a lot of damage to you. While... Like, I don't know. It's just very, very wonky sometimes. I'm 
trying to layer my thoughts. To really convey it. Because I think it is due to the fact that it, it seems to be so dependent on weaknesses compared to anything else. Ah, you can learn the area of effect, Bufu. It seems, if I read that correctly. But it is just the sheer feast or famine against these enemies. Where if you let them go, they can, like, severely wreck you. So it doesn't really incentivize basically passing it and going down the line to try and get one of your allies to, like, again, I think that's the thing. That it kind of incentivizes brute forcing combat rather than actually having much. Like, there is strategy, but it kind of caps the strategy at a certain point because trying to have strategy beyond your turn is just bad. Then again, I think that's like, uh, let's see. Because if I can go, I can maybe even... What I think I'll do, I'll make a combat save state. And then we'll return to the entrance, because then I think we should be able to return here after healing. Because let's see. Yep, resume from 431. Heal party. We have the money. There we go. Then again, maybe they expect you to do that more. Come to the clock and heal. But it is still a little, like, wonky feeling to basically have it be all on your shoulders. Your first turn. You have to down everybody, do all of the damage, and kill them immediately. I forget. You guys are fire, right? Yeah. But it could be that it was designed this way because of the original Persona 3, come to think of it. Because the original Persona 3 only let you control your main character. Everybody else was AI controlled, and so could kind of troll your strategy a bit, or be unoptimal. So you brute forcing the enemy all in a single turn with your personas and your variety is probably what they intended to a degree. So they didn't really bother to go like, oh yeah, the player would totally want to pass their turn to the next party member that also has like elemental superiority over these enemies. Like it just it feels a little wonky. In that kind of way. I think I have Garu on somebody, but who goes next? You go next, so I basically don't have to really matter much. Really, it's just a nitpick to, for the most part, where only when it's noticeable does it get really annoying. Otherwise, it's just kind of fine. One enemy remains. But it is just kind of funny in, like, this where I have control over my allies because I'm playing the Persona 3 portable version. That trying to, like, super duper take advantage of, like, party control and try to split up my SP usage across all of my party members is a not good strategy. <laughs> What about other topics in RPG games like status effect ailments, poison, paralysis, hypnosis, and more? Again, it depends on how impactful it is. Because if it's too impactful, then, like, 
e like because it, it's like a multi-tiered thing. How powerful is it, and how often is the player going to run into it? Is the two things. Because if the player does run into it a lot, and it is very impactful, then it needs to be, like, easily, like, counterable by the player. Kind of like in a rock, paper, scissors kind of way. Or like a da da da, what's the diddly dee? It's kind of like a three pillar kind of thing. Where you can have like fast enemies that hit hard but have no defense. Or fast enemies that have great defense but don't hit hard. Like you can't have something have everything. Because the moment something has everything, it becomes broken. So there has to be a, like a, a wiggle room in there. A weakness that you can really take advantage of. Ah, time to boo-foo these fools. So like with paralysis and poison, like uh, take a look at Pokemon. Where for like a casual player them running into poison paralysis and stuff isn't really that big of a deal because either they will quickly end the fight and then heal or be able to heal those mid-fight. So, like, they can be impactful, but they can also be countered. And then I guess I'll go for the two-rank weapon. Zoop! But yeah, it all comes down to the various impacts. It's, it's, it is very, very much like case by case. I think this is a new floor that we've gotten to compared to last time. There seems to be no in end in sight. Are you doing all right? Don't push yourself too hard. Like either this is... I gotta know. Seems like we're going deep, deep in. Be careful. And I forget again. The enemy is weak. Weak to Zeo. Power Ranger Zeo. Four enemies remain. Stay cautious. But yeah, ultimately, when it comes to video game mechanics, it is all very case by case, game by game. Because, like, sometimes it also depends on, like, uh, the context. Like how the poison is used, like in blah blah blah, in Dark Souls and stuff, where it's mostly used as a kind of an area of denial tactic with the poison swamp. But overall, what like my personal taste. I personally dislike status ailments that... Well, you're a little bastard, aren't you? Stop fucking dodging, you bastard. Nullified wind, so I'll just shoot you. But yeah, like, for me, the one type of, like, status ailment that I really, really dislike is the... Ones that take control out of the player's hands. We already have Nekomata, so I shall go for money. So it is kind of like, in Pokemon, paralysis, in my opinion, is more annoying than anything. Because it makes it harder to just play the game. And just like overall, taking control out of the player's hands is just a pet peeve of mine. And, like, in a way, that's kind of what Three this game is also doing. Weak to Bufu. Because if you let the enemy get a turn, then they can then start to make you miss turns. If you, like, your allies can miss turns if they get hit by a weakness, and you can also... Damn it, quit missing, you bastards! 
But then, like, if you have the wrong persona active, then you can miss out on turns. Try Zeo because bird. But ultimately, it's just like difficulty and uh, like shenanigans is a very fine line to cross. Like the line between difficulty and just cruelty in game design. It is a very fine line. When does something stop being challenging and start to be annoying? Oh, hey, we can get that guy just for free. I think I might grab you and swap you out for somebody. Let's see. Who do we want to swap out? I would say Nekomata. Once again, I hate that small little delay. I don't know if that happens with, like, any other... So, like, text box selection, but it feels like it does just for that one, and I don't know why. And it's always off-putting to me. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, what was I rambling about? I think just, like, uh, the fine line between difficulty and annoyance. It's very much a hard thing to really, like, decide on. There are four... The enemy is weak. Weak to Zeo. Four enemies remain. Stay cautious. But it also depends, like with game design, because sometimes something that's very, very annoying could have a counter to it. But then I think it's up to the game to properly convey that. And again, like... Dodging is such an annoying mechanic in this game because there's, like, no real explanation in this game anywhere of, like, what is causing it. Where is anything is. <laughs> Who is faster, you don't know. Again, in just such a feast or famine gameplay, missing is just so unsatisfying. God damn you, game. All because I missed one move, guys. All because I missed a single fucking move. And that's why it bothers me. Because this is so feast or famine. Either you dominate the enemy or they dominate you. Or maybe you're lucky and the enemy is just shit. That's partly why it bothers me so much to miss in this game. I miss in Pokemon, it's kind of an ad deal. Maybe I can make a funny aha running joke out of it. Here it's just frustrating. Go for the money, I think, because it's the only level two card. Go to item, because we need to find the revival bead. Beat it to Junpei. And then heal everybody. Bear me, golden slime. That I will never hit. Because I don't know the mechanics around you. Again, maybe Rubber Souls is the way to go against One that guy. It seems to have Weak to Zeo? I think I have Zeo equipped. Damn you! One Just no enemy. feedback on if I'll miss or not. Like, I think that's another thing. Like, at least with Pokemon, you can look and see a move's accuracy. And then if an enemy uses a move, it says, ah, oh, your accuracy went down. But with this, you have no idea of anything. 
Is this enemy fast? Is it slow? Well, we never missed against this guy in the past, as far as I recall, yet we missed here. Are the stats universal across enemy type, or do they vary? I don't know. I have no information. And this is the enemy that can, like, at least in the past, one-shots my teammates. Luckily, just did a strike attack, but still. But the one thing is, I don't even know how I would, like, fix this issue. If you gave me a magic wand and said, if you wave it while having a certain thought in mind, you could f implement the dodge and miss mechanics into the game. I have no idea what I would do to fix it, in my mind. Like, all I know is that it annoys me to miss enemies in this game so much. And the fact that it seems to be spread out in weird spurts, like, this segment, miss nobody. This segment, miss lots of people. So I think it's the randomness that I can't, like, predict it. Again, with the Pokemon example, there's at least a bit more, ah, oh, I can kind of expect and gamble here. Like, I don't know. It's just weird. You're getting closer to this strong presence. I estimate that it is three floors above you. Be cautious. Let's -a go. Aggie these guys. There are four enemies. So if I wanted to, I could split it up. First, we're gonna move to Chimera, so we can aggie these guys properly. You struck the enemy's weak right, point. Good job. Blasted them away. Blasted them all. You attacked the enemy's gear. It's my turn. Although now to come to think of it, I wonder why they designed Chimera like this, where the goat is coming out of the back. Just like the back of the lion. Like at that point, why don't just make the back half of the lion a giant snake? Like usually it's kind of like from the head part, goat and lion. Here it's like, eh, just slap the, the head of a goat on the back of the lion. I forget. Do we need to heal? We have good heal, so I'll go for the money. We don't need Angel. We're full up on Personas. A little bit more money doesn't hurt. Yeah, and the only one really in need of healing is... Junpei. I almost had you. I still wish I could kind of corner them. I think that'd be a fun mechanic. Just chasing a golden shadow across the entirety of the level. That'd be a fun thing. Weak to Bufu. For some reason, my mind just al always goes to, ah, it's weak to electricity. It's all, it's probably the Pokemon in me. My Pokemon learning goes, ah, it's a bird. Throw lightning at it. Throw some icicles at them. Now we're one-shotting these guys. We already have Chimera, so I guess I'll go for the heal. And we're getting Amethyst and uh, Malachite. More money. You spawn behind me, Shadow Man. I think Bufu works on you. I don't think we ever actually got a scan off. Interesting that these smaller lantern carrying birds seem stronger than the big scary birds. Just slightly amusing. Appearances can be deceiving. Like, look at the little hee ho guy, he'll murder you. 
He'll absolute, absolute, absolutely dominate you. More stuffle time. Guess we'll get the healing again. I do wonder what, like, dictates a shuffle time. Oh, hey, a second level up for Polydeuces. Akihiko just coming in swinging with the levels. Forget, was there an empty zone back this way? No. And it was three up. You're very close to the strong presence. Proceed with caution. Bam. Again, I am just like, my memory is bad. Is Weak to electricity. Unicorn. Annihilate these bitches. Four enemies remain. Stay cautious. I do find it funny that it seems that my, like, this run of Tartarus is going better than last time. Hilariously facilitated by my terrible memory mixing up my saves. Again, I'm never gonna use that. <laughs> that poor, like, co-op action mechanic. I am never going to use it just because it doesn't feel like it benefits the feast or famine gameplay of this game. More shuffle time. More hee-ho. When we do not have time for hee-ho. There's... Ooh. Hello, little guy. You're gonna be the... Unicycle? It's the Unicycle of Doom! Electrify it! Damn it! How do you even miss it? It's like 12 feet tall. Then again, I guess it is a wheel. Maybe it's just very, very fast. I guess that does make sense. You'd have a high speed stat, it is literally a unicycle wheel motorcycle monster. But I don't know, just like, we haven't missed it this much before. Excuse me, Blick. What about ice freeze status infects in video games? Ooh. Those ones are very hit or miss. Because usually it's like an extreme paralyze that makes it so you can't move. Or it is evil like Generation 1 Pokemon, where it's literally your Pokemon becomes unusable unless it's hit by a fire move, or you have a freeze heal. Oh, that one, that one's evil in old Pokemon. But yeah, otherwise it kind of falls into the area of just being a... Paralyzed Plus. A reflavored par paralyzed. Oh, I forgot it's boo hoo that hits you. Boo hoo. Why do I keep mixing it up? Pokemon is poison my brain. All right, Aggie, this fucker. Burn the table down. We'll just take it out. Yeah, there's just, like, so many different status effects in video games. And that is actually an interesting thing, like, when making a game, do you want to make, like, a redundant status effect? But then, it, like, it, it kind of comes back around to the... Like, uh question of difficulty versus annoyance. Because if you do make duplicate status effects in a way and then it's just like ah it's the same status effect just with a different label and therefore you have to deal with it 
in a slightly different way. That wasn't a crit? That looked like a crit animation. Huh. Quit bullying the boxer, you bastard. Two enemies remain. Don't get careless. I forget. Okay, it doesn't nullify wins, so we can do extra damage by blasting you. And now we can burn the table down. A little, like, cut-in animation is very neat. Still don't understand exactly what it means. If it's, like, a pseudo-crit for spells or what. And the faces in the backgrounds of, like, the walls is disturbing. We'll go for the experience, because I think that's more valuable overall. For some reason, I was just hit with weird deja vu. Oh, it's just a golden guy. Maybe if I wait for him to come to me. No, it just instantly disappears. The true power of Golden Frieza. He can just instantly disappear if he gets scared. Then I think... The strong presence is on the next floor. Be careful. Just do some heals to make sure everybody's topped up. But yeah, ultimately when it comes to status effects, it all comes down to... How does it affect gameplay? Be careful. There are four enemies. Ah, man, I already forget. I think it's... We want to Aggie the hands. We want to Aggie the hands and then... Zeo the hats. I think is the play. I clicked the wrong fucker. I am a fool. I am but a meringue, and soon I will be a pie. Wasted at a clown show. Sure, we're already in hell. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Was not expecting that, okay. Was not expecting us to instantly nuke one of the hands. Maybe I should do the co-op actions more often. Just two more to go. Again, the feast or famine gameplay just makes me paranoid of everything. I see one enemy and I'm like, ah, oh God, here we go. Everything's going downhill now, Billy. Everything's just gonna go wrong. Well, at least we're gaining lots of chests. Two enemies. I think it is Bufu that annihilates you. Ooh. So let's try it. Hee-ho, those guys. The enemy is vulnerable. Right, Keep going. We're going to try and rush to the boss level. The enemy is vulnerable. See let's if we can go down heal, then fight the boss. And make super progress. Stufa time. Three? But it's one that I don't need! I guess I'll get the money. Kind of scary that we're coming up on rank 3 cards. I feel like we just got to the rank 2s. At least we're getting lots of money. Why couldn't I have gotten all this money back when Tanaka was shaking me down? Now we can kill you. The enemies here haven't been that scary. Two enemies and then I think it's Bufu. No, not Bufu. Zeo that kills you. Quick, throw the Power Rangers at him. 
Now my brain went Power Rangers Persona. How would that work? Let's all go again. All beat him up. More stufel time. And of course, Unicorn is one that can be found here. We'll go for the double experience, even if it isn't going to get us a lot. We already have Unicorn, so it's basically a waste. Booyah! I took a blind swing. Eh, we'll just move along. And hope that we don't become tired by the time we get to the elevator. So we can heal and then fight the boss. I detect one shadow in this floor central area. It's relatively strong, so be cautious. The device is similar to the entrance. I will make a combat safe state just in case. So we basically had to go up 10 floors to get to this one. Oof. I think that's what it's going to be like from now on. We began at every 5-ish floors and then it's going up to every 10-ish floors. Heal party. Do it. Go back to floor 36. You know, it's got to kind of suck going up this place, because not only are you fighting shadows every step of the way, but you're also cl It's a fucking statue. What? Is this going to be like Lady Liberty that we saw? But who should we put in front? Let me see. Do I have anybody who's, like, not weak to anything? I guess you, but we also want to, like, actually try and bash the enemy a bit. I guess... Because we don't know what we're going to actually be getting into. So I guess I'll have Unicorn be out so I can try Bufu, Zeo, maybe Hama, that would be hilarious, but I have a sneaky suspicion, a very sneaky suspicion that uh, bosses in this game are immune to instant kill attacks even if they're otherwise weak to that element, because that's what most video games do. Well, let's fight a statue. Prepare yourself. It has a mask. It looks like it might be weak to Zeo then. Its arcana is the Empress. It's a guardian, so it'll be a difficult fight. Huh. I forget. Have they said like what arcana the their they were before? Zeo him! See if it works. Damn it! I probably should have used Bufu, because nobody else on my team uses Bufu. Garu! Oh, that's mean. But luckily everyone, it missed everyone. Hmm. Maybe Sonic Punch. Maybe it's weak to physical attacks. <laughs> I'll at least tell her to do it so I feel good about myself. Fufu! Hmm. Maybe cleave. Cleave through that statue. Or maybe this is just one that's, like, not weak to anything. That's entirely possible. Yep, that's what I thought. <laughs> Well, I guess keep blasting it because... Oh, screw you. You're a statue. You can't dodge. Poison him, maybe. Damn you.
Well, I guess we'll just blast him with Aggie. That one just won't die. Confuse it. it. Oh, it hit three, you fucker. That's mean. Three? Let's see. Oh, that's a lot. That's very mean. Because you'll probably be hit next, so... Oh, that's bad. Dis poison. So it se poison seems to work. It only activates after their turn, but still, very mean. Ah, get crit, idiot. Let's... Uh, we're probably not going to find its weakness anyway, so beat him up, yeah. We're probably not going to get another crit to keep it down. Guess I'll go ahead and heal you. This seems... This definitely feels similar to the... Like, maybe we'll use this. Try Hama. Instant kill it, unicorn. That'd be hilarious. Oh, it's blocked. Coward. Cowardly game. Not letting me instantly annihilate your bosses. That one just won't die. Please hit. Defeat it. My gorilla. Well, that's very mean. Luckily, it attacked the wrong enemy. Let's go. Well, they're on healing duty for a bit. Well, I guess I'll keep blasting you. Maybe it'll shock you. He blast him. Because I think I've hit it with everything for the most part. I should have used heal. I'm an idiot. Oh, you are very mean. You are a very mean little man. Here. This is using up all my dis poisons. Personally, not a fan of enemies that can poison your entire team in one go. Personally, don't think that should be a thing. Yeah, go ahead and heal the boy. He's weak. God, you are so fucking annoying. Stop! It's so stupid. Stop it! Here. Especially because... Let's see, who's next? Uh, you can just dispoison yourself. I forget. Did I boo-foo? I forget. Let's blast him anyway. Then you can dispoison yourself, and then we're basically screwed. Let's see, what's Patra? Yeah. My gorilla does a ton of damage. Injured. Let's see. So I think we have a... We have B-Chain, so screw it. Let's B-Chain. Hmm, I wonder if we should just, like, do physical attacks. Try to get crits to knock it down and go for all out attacks. Like, maybe, for, definitely for you.
God, you're very annoying. Let's go. Right, there's nothing really to say, because there's not really much, like, strategy, it doesn't feel like. It's just a brick. It's a stat stick. We're in over you. Quit spamming that move! Stop it! Come on, hang you in fucker! There. You cheating fucker! You targeted my main dude! Fuck off! God! That's so stupid! This is a feast or famine game where all you have is weak weaknesses against the enemy. Then they throw an enemy at you that has no weaknesses. Like, fuck off. That's annoying. Now we have to do that long grind again. Because there's no fucking strategy against this asshole. Except for like, ah, I guess I'll decrease your attack. There's no point in using that. Get a crit. Maybe we'll get another crit. We can pray. Never mind, it was its turn anyway. And then they have to dispoison themselves. At least that's one thing. Since we died, we got all our dispoison back. Its attack is still down. He goes next. Let me go through my persona list. And let's see. Makes a foe panic. I wonder if that would even work. Knocks down, dispels panic, fear, distress. Maybe him. Decreases defense. Neutralizes poison, maybe, but it's just the fact that it tends to use poison in a way that I can't really get to me, but at the same time, hmm. Then maybe we could do a bash, but then I think we did a, like, a bash attack. Maybe Chimera is our best option because he can decrease defense, which will help kill it faster. Neutralize poison if it's our turn and somebody else is poisoned. Try to distress them. So yeah, I'm gonna swap to you. And this allows me to... Get rid of that poison. You're a statue, you can't dodge, screw you! God, you're annoying. Still alive. And then Pussy Moody again. So sweet. Hmm. Trying to think. Because, like, going for crit is basically the only real strategy here. Do a little bit less damage to try and get crits off. Oh, hey. Neat. And you can Dia him. I think that's the first time I've ever seen it lead with that. Its attack is still down. Decrease its defense. Now that we have an opening. It didn't poison people last turn. You're a statue! Fuck off! Please hit! This thing won't give up! You attacked the wrong person with your wind attack. Ah, eh, screw it, let's just do Zeo. I think that's better for you. Oh hey, it's shocked. Didn't expect that. Screw it, let's try bash again. I'm not sure if we did a Great 
Well, we got a crit. Sure, beat him up. Since its defense is down and... Ah. Another crit. Huzzah. Right after I did the defense down, too, I got the, the luck I needed to probably beat this thing. Get another crit. <laughs> what even? What even is happening? Last time this thing was kicking my ass. Last time this thing was utterly annihilating me. And then this time, the moment I decide, like, fine, I'll use your status effect ones moves, I guess, suddenly gives me all the crits in the world, back to back. Feast or famine indeed. I got queen of coins. Whatever that is. And Charm D. Now we can charm enemies. Maybe. But would that even be worth anything compared to just killing them? Because again, more than likely, bosses and stuff are going to be immune to it. Because I'm just used to that from games. But hey, we got to a point. I'm going to quickly check my inventory. Because we got a Soma, I think, which is nice. I forgot what the other thing we got was. I think it was just a normal gem. So this is a usable? Persona luck and agility plus. Is it permanent? I don't know. But, just in case. Going to save state. And we shall leave. Now after we beat that boss. And that, I do believe, shall be that. Like, I think that's a small example of RNG really affecting, like, the gameplay. <laughs> My crit luck happened right as I changed strategies. Does it lowering defense increase crit rate? I don't know. That's what it feels like. But it's probably just RNG. I got, like, one crit last time. This time, three in a row. Sup, dude? So, what do you think? What's the matter? About Fukuyama Gishi, of course. I haven't given up hope that she'll join our team. Dude, her face looks so familiar. She does look kind of weak, but it only makes me want to protect her, you know? Who asks for my time? Ah, Sayori. Oh, what a coincidence. So yeah, today's a committee day. Come if you have the time, okay? Sure. I think we have a hermit. I uh, will give it my best shot to be there. And see what happens. Ah, now we're finally back to where we were at the end of last time, but then I messed up the saves. Bleh. I'm at Ogawa, in charge of integra in integrative learning. <laughs> in this class, I'll ease all your worries. Uh, it's psychotherapy through magic. How is this guy allowed to teach? Nobody knows. All right, everyone, be very, very quiet. No talking. Silence! Were you surprised to hear me bring up magic? It's a recent proposal, so it's not well known yet. Here it is. Those who believe will be saved. Study hard, and I can beat your weak minds into shape. <laughs> now then, let's get on with our first lecture on the basics of magic. Who can use magic and who cannot? That'll be our starting point. Some of you might think that magic lets you do absolutely anything. Pulling pranks on people, hurting your enemies. If that's what you think, you'll, ne if that's what you think, you'll never learn magic. It's true of both Eastern and Western sorcery. Those of wicked hearts will either be powerless or be driven to ruin. There's one more thing that can't be forgotten when learning magic, that is, a master. You should aspire to become as good as your predecessors, especially if you're studying difficult magic. If you don't have a master, learning the black arts will be impossible. When you begin your training, you'll have to live in two worlds at once, the real world and the dark realm. 
If you can't distinguish between the two, you're headed for certain disaster. That's why the presence of a master is of the utmost importance. With that in mind, I'll move on to meditation, a standard practice in magical training. I've got some handouts for you. We shall stay awake and listen to the madness of magic. Now then, it looks like it's time. If you're interested in the subject, try meditating before going to bed. Slowly recall the events of the day. It's like traveling back through time. If you can do that flawlessly, you may just make a good magician. <laughs> That's all for today. You stayed up and listened to the lecture. Ah, oh, we became above average. I forgot that happened. Sorry, Ori. I promised I would go to library club. And what I will do from now on is like have a permanent save state that I do not touch except for like at the end of streams as a backup in case weird things happen with my memory again. Blick. But first things first, we know Sayori's here. And Sayori is the library and hermit. We should have a hermit in you. Yep. So you're good to go. First things first, let's see if there's any different dialogue. Nope. Just a crazy lady that wants to be run over by Mitsuru. You think his wounds were just to get attention? Nah, it couldn't be. He's already surrounded by girls all the time. Ah, uh, they're probably talking about... Uh... A yeah, Aki Akihiko. For some reason, my brain was jumbling his name there. I heard Akihiko Senpai's been released from the hospital. I wonder how he got his wounds. Anyway, no one knows. He was fighting demons. I really like the exploration music. Well, let's go get a courage boost from his magic. At least now it makes sense why he's like. Why he mentioned curses and stuff. He's into magic. Again, how the hell is this guy teaching anything? You'd think that the kids would go home and be like, the school nurse is teaching us magic. And like, the school would be utterly marched upon by angry parents. I'll quickly look around, see if there's... Anything different anywhere else? Da, 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 da. Quickly see if there's any requests added, just in case. Nope. No, I wish to leave. Free me from hell. Then again, I could also register my personas. Blah. Let's actually register my personas before I forget. Register them all. <laughs> oh no, apathy people are showing up again. Right when I mentioned that we hadn't been seeing apathy people, bam, apathy people showed up. This game is better with Connect. God, they're already showing up everywhere. Recently, this girl has started coming around here. She wears this white dress with this puffy lace. I don't know what kind of fashion that is, but it's not my style. I feel like that's another hint at a character that might, like, show up. Like, hippie Jesus guy that apparently is important later. Do you think I could become a first stringer? What's a first stringer? Sure, if you work hard, I think you can make it. Must be some kind of sports thing. Yeah, this guy. Long hair, no shirt. Apathy guy. Like, he might just suck. Like, imagine if Apathy Syndrome just hits the same people over and over again. So they're like, oh, hey, I'm back to normal. Oh, no, I'm becoming Apathy again. Just eternal misery. Well, I guess with nothing else, 
we shall go and hang out with Sayori and see what happened after her date. And the revelation that Sayori is fine with anybody so long as she feels needed, which is not a healthy mindset, Sayori. A very much not healthy no. Well. Hey, Sayori. You got a healthy mindset since last we met? Hey, Neon-chan. There's a committee meeting today. Can you come? Let us go. And see how things go. Really? I'm glad. You seem to be having fun today. I fear what will happen. I fear what will happen. Let's hope things aren't gonna go bad. Gekuken High Library. You did your duties as a member of the library committee. That reminds me. I heard that the library committee wants to put together a school newsletter. It'll be about things like how to take care of your books and reminders to return them before they're overdue. Why would you need, like, leaflets about how to take care of books. I feel like it's kind of simple and obvious. Like, don't mess up the pages. Like, get a bookmark and don't just, like, put them in weird positions that then mess up the pages. Or maybe there are secrets on how to maintain your books, and that's what they'll actually put in the newsletter. At, le at least that's what I heard is going to go, on go in it. like if we're a part of the committee then were you not included in it like you're talking about it well but yeah we should make it a fun uh, make it fun to read to try and like get people invested yeah I agree that's why Mr. Uh, Miss uh, Onishi said she was going to look into other things that students would be interested in but it's far more likely that the ones uh, who have to do the actual writing will be. Sayori, you here? Huh? Yes? Can I help you? You can help me kick your ass! What the hell? A female student barges in with a furious expression. Who the hell do you think you are? Keep your hands off my boyfriend! Ah, great. The guy who asked her out to karaoke was already committed. Unless this was an insane person who was like... Clingy. Who knows? Let's find out. Boyfriend? Don't play dumb with me. You left school together and even went out to karaoke. He told me all about it. Karaoke? Oh, you mean Takoa kun? You skank. You're the one who asked him out. Huh? But he's the one. Makun told me all about it. He said you seduced him. Ah, he was a bastard. Me? Don't give me that shit. Eh. Sayori was slapped. You so much as say hello to my man again, you're going down. Like, <laughs> I want to say you're going down right now. Because <laughs> that's probably what I think is the best thing. It's like, it's a misunderstanding. Yeah, this lady. Yeah, you're, you're the going down right now. No, it's okay. Seriously, keep to yourself, bitch. We must kill Takoa-kun. The girl leaves. The few students currently in the library keep their distance and look away. Oh, I'm sorry for the commotion. The students hurriedly leave. I'm sorry you had to see that. We have to kill that lady. Murder her right now. <laughs> I say, let's not escalate things with Sayori and keep calm. I don't mind at all. Mm, thanks. Sayori smiles weakly. I did have some ulterior motive of my own, after all. I thought it'd be nice to have a friend around my own age. That's not an ulterior motive when he was the one that asked you out. It wasn't even really a date, it was just hanging out, considering you didn't even know each other. <laughs> and I wouldn't say that, mostly because of, like, maybe, like, Japanese social things. Cause like, ba ba ba. Trying to think the words. Mostly it's just like, I 
don't know. I feel like... Let's just ask this one straight. Did you like Takoa Kuhn? No, unfortunately. See how he smiles weakly, her eyes shining with tears. I have someone I like, but it'll never work out and I can't do anything about it. I wonder why. Yeah, like, what, why can't it work? <laughs> I've never mentioned it to anyone else before. It's so nice to be able to talk about it. I could never tell anyone. Sayori smiles weakly. I feel like you understand Sayori a little bit better now. She's just having a depressing life. We reach level five. Where pain is. It's almost time to stop today. I doubt any more people will come. Let's go home. Well, that was depressing. Welcome back. Hmm, that's strange. The number of victims seems to be on the rise again. Apparently the decline was only temporary. Yep, that's what I saw. All the bobba da buzz the apathy syndrome people out and about today. Hilariously, if I went to hang out with Sayori, we wouldn't have, like, blah, blah, blah. We wouldn't have walked around and seen it. Kind of neat that Mitsuru is, like, has, her, like, uh, her finger to the pulse. Is like, yep, the Apathy Syndrome people are back, like, on the day that it all starts to happen again. Huh? Does that mean that no matter how many shadows we defeat, more will just keep coming? If that's the case, then what's the point of fighting? If we do nothing, then everyone will eventually join the Lost. Our efforts have prevented the crisis from escalating. And I guess you're right. You know, it's kind of creepy when you think about it. If we couldn't use our personas, then the whole city would be crawling with zombies. It is a worrisome thing. Make our save state and our save save. We'll probably talk to everybody and then head to the mall. We probably won't go to Tartarus tonight since I'm tired. And everybody else is tired too, so... Best thing not to go. That's too bad. Her name is Fuka Yamagishi, right? I think it's just easier to be around other girls when they're in the same grade as me, like you. I wonder what she'd say if I was the male protagonist. The equipment in the command room is still malfunctioning. I don't know the details, but it's causing some sort of unforeseen error. If you have the time to examine it, I'd appreciate it. Like, I thought I looked at it, but all we got was a recording of... Ikutsuki being weird. A 40-year-old man was sent to the hospital last night. According to his doctors, he was a victim of apathy syndrome. Well, it's even on the news. Guess we'll head up. Ah, Hakihiko and, Mid and Junpei. Well, I wouldn't count on getting any appreciation from anyone, since no one knows what we're doing. I know that makes things harder, but if we don't fight, then more people become victims of the shadows, like the lost. We are making a difference, though. We're making the city more peaceful. Just remember that. We're saving the city, right, senpai? Of course. Why would you ask such an obvious question? Well, you know, I was just thinking it might be nice to get some kind of thank you. From the ladies, at least. I guess we'll just check out the command room. The tiles contain many things you don't understand. And even though we're above average, we're still not intelligent enough. No new recordings, and yet they tell me, hey, go check out the equipment. I guess that's just there to be a default reminder of like, hey, just remember, if you haven't done that, go check it out. Unless I need to be a genius to diagnose it all. Well, Tanaka's here, if I want to bother with him. Let's see, check out, nobody else on the dance floor. But there is an old man up here! Hello, old man. <laughs> Where's my booze? The lazy-eyed monk is drinking. You do not have enough courage to talk to him. You could talk to him if you had at least tough-level courage. Damn it. Dibbity darn. I'm not brave enough to f talk to the man. Do I even care about, like, talking to Tanaka? 
Because, like, aside from leveling up the devil arcana, like, he, like, unless, like, nothing really interesting has happened with him yet. But then the, the, he is just, like, on level two, I think. So, obviously, anything interesting around him hasn't happened in his store yet, but I don't know. Let's see. What is available tonight? Print club, punching bag, meh. I don't have that much, but you should be able to find what you need. Ah, he's got some new things for us. Composite stick. Raises my damage a lot. Oh, these a lot of damages. Lots of damage up in here. Is it just weapons, or did you get new armor, too? Jesus Christ! Only masters may wear this? A set of protective pads. Combat boots. Reduce stumble. Great. We don't have much money. Da, da, da. Hmm. What about accessories? Increases dodge against specific diddly Ds. Yeesh. But let's see. Da, 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 da. Do they currently have... Hmm. A stick made of composite material. That is 30 plus to my attack. Hmm, I think I'll keep Yukari with the Siren's Bow for now because the low odds of producing panic is nice and also she isn't really much like she's meant to be more like healing and blasting with magic than anything a light sharp katana is basically 30 plus damage medium odds to cause fear huh. and that's basically 14 12 and 15 oof so if I really wanted to, like, I guess I could give Junpei his sword because he uses basic attacks more than anybody else. And then the Sonic Fist for that added fear ability, even though it's the least increase to damage out of anybody. Or I could wait and look for a sale, because we're not going to go to Tartarus for a while. And then if we really are hurting for money... Hmm, I'm trying to think. We're not hurting for money, but like, uh, if we're really hurting on time, like if the next full moon boss is around the corner, we can just remember to grab these. So yeah, I'm going to wait until a... Babada comes along. But while I'm here, might as well sell the items that I got. Here's more practice bow for ya. Da da. Is there anything here that I'd care to sell? I don't think so. Like, I got that cat food a million years ago, and we still haven't used it. Like, that has to be, like, permanent, then. Maybe. Oh. I forgot that I had the Vibrant Cloth. Just another reason to wait for 
sale day. Hmm. Like, I guess we can spend our time talking to Tanaka. Because the only other things available would be the cafe or karaoke. And then I guess technically the arcade, but there isn't really anything at the arcade that I care for. So, yeah, Tanaka. Oh, it's you, Neon. Are you free at the moment? And talk to him, even though we don't have a Devil Arcana on us. He's gonna be just go to level 3, which should do good. We don't need the bonus. My, you're enthusiastic. So, Mr. Tanaka Man, what do you got to say? Today I'll tell you a funny story. You know these days even a first grader knows how to buy stocks online. How about you? Are you interested in stock trading? Hmm. I feel like we need to really butter him up and be like, Ah, oh, yes, we are interested in the stocks. Because if we say not a bit, he'll be like, Ah, oh, you fool. You don't care about your financial future. Then again, maybe if we said not a bit, he'll be like, Ah, oh, more power to... Well, no, because... I think he mentioned if it turns out that we don't have possibility to us, he'll just drop us. So I'll say I am. That's the spirit. If you put all your money in the bank, your modest gains will be offset by outrageous fees. Don't let the fear of bankruptcy dissuade you. That's very a capitalist statement there, boy. <laughs> Don't trust the banks. Trust stocks. <laughs> Don't you know what happened just last year? In 2008? <laughs> in America? You have to be aggressive in the management of your assets. Present Tanaka seems excited to talk about stocks. <laughs> Weird little man. My company just went public. Since our sales have been skyrocketing, we decided to sell shares, and guess what? The number of shareholders skyrocketed, too. Listen, this is the funny part. The majority of our shareholders are also our customers. They keep buying more of our products, so of course the stock will rise. Not sure if that's funny. That just seems obvious. Isn't that hysterical? You should learn to appreciate the irony. I'm thinking of offering you a job, so you should come up with some stories of your own. You listen to President Tanaka passionately share his advice. You feel like you understand him a little bit better now. I don't. Just feels like a weird, weird man. The businessman. Have you been keeping your promise? You didn't tell anyone, did you? If you go back on your word, I'll find where you live and ring the doorbell every night at midnight. <laughs> you just go from, like, very ominous and weird to just, like, absurd on the drop of a hat. So maybe you are amusing enough to just listen to. Just for the threats. I'll find out where you live and ring the doorbell every night. <laughs> you overhear a conversation. I heard from a young guy in my, clu uh, my club yesterday that the 10th graders are teasing someone. What, like... Oh, what, like bullying him? Poor kid, what's his name? I don't know. All I heard is that it's a real problem. I thought our school was peaceful, too. But I guess it's not so much. I mean, I was just there to watch my friend get slapped by an angry hall. Of course the school isn't nice. The first bell rung. Ah, great, the magic guy's back. Quiet down, class. It's time to begin today's lecture. Pro... Pro... Progredio Adurukum Shidirim. Or something. Why are you speaking like Latin? In here, you madman. You weirdo. Seriously. Why is this guy allowed to teach? He gives students weird concoctions. Mr. Akita left work early today, so today's lecture will be a little different. He looked fine, but he claimed he didn't feel well. Make sure you know what you're eating, everyone, before you take a bite. Last time, I related some basic magical knowledge. 
Today I'll add to that with a discussion of meditation. But first let's review the ways that magicians meditate. To heighten your creative impulse, the source of all magical power, carefully observe a real world object and recreate it in your head to the last detail. That reminds me of that, like, post that's kind of a meme that constantly goes around. That's like the apple in the brain. Like, ah, what, like, stage of apple do you see in your head? Feel sorry for the people that can't see apples in their heads. They would fail this immediately. That's the Western style. But I'd also like to talk about the Eastern style of meditation. Meditation was actually refined in the East. Modern magicians adapted Eastern meditation for their own original style. Strain yourself, take a deep breath, and concentrate. Those are the basics of meditation. Concentrate on what? You freak? What, are you gonna be, the final boss of the game and you're just gonna be a weird magician man? You don't need much to meditate. All that's required is a quiet environment and some time. It doesn't take long, but you should allow at least 15 minutes for it. Now for the practicalities. First, your posture. Choose a position you're comfortable in. Sitting cross-legged is easy for most, or you could try the full lotus position called... Keka... Kekafuza. You can also meditate while sitting on a chair. Any position will work as long as you're relaxed. Once you can breathe comfortably, cover or close your eyes and relax. Now that you've prepared yourself physically, let's focus on your mind and soul. Imagine a symbol, perhaps a large tree or the moon. He's in on it. He's summoning the full moon bosses. If you wish, I could even be the god of your own faith. However, do not empty your mind. That would actually be foolhardy. You run the risk of losing control of yourself. You feel tired. Let's stay awake and listen to the madness. So what have we learned? To practice meditation is to imagine some sort of symbol. The Christian practice of prayer, for instance, is a heightened form of meditation. The imagined symbol is there for other reasons besides helping the meditation go smoothly, however. It can be very dangerous to plumb the depths of your consciousness. By keeping a clear symbol in mind, you can avoid plunging over the edge. Go ahead and try meditating if you'd like. That's all for today. You stayed up listening to the lecture. Somehow that raised my academics. Gekuken High School Hallway. <sighs> this is new. Workout. I've got to teach those freshmen how to clean up properly. <laughs> is there murder going on at the tree? Mm -hmm. Pretended to take a picture with my cell phone. For what reason? She freaked out and started crying. Murder her. <laughs> like it was the end of the world. Kill her now. You should have seen the look on her face. Turn her into fertilizer for the tree. It was priceless. Oh my god. I have never laughed so hard in all my life. The real question is, what were you pretending to take a photo of that would freak someone out so much? <laughs> They're making fun of someone? I guess that's the bullying problem. Don't they have anything better to do? Probably not. What? Huh? What was that weird? Where's that voice coming from? Yeah, but what happened? What voice? I don't hear anything. What's wrong, Maki? Maki? Uh, uh -huh. Is she becoming apathy syndrome? Are you okay? Sorry. What were we talking about? Apathy syndrome. Attack. But I did hear that weird bop the buff. I can't stand girls like that. They do seem to be some evil motherfuckers. Just laughing at another's expense. Class is ended for today. <laughs> ah, still the fact of communist Akihiko. He is owned by everybody. Make our safe state just in case things go wacky. We could hang out with Rio, because we should still have Bubba Ba, Chimera. Well, obviously, we already have Chimera. It's right there. Nothing new with you. Nothing new with you. I think we're still tired. So we can go to Magic Man and get our Courage Boost for the day. 
definitely feels like the school is emptier. Hello, magic man. Give us your magic potion. That does nothing but increase my courage. This is such a weird mechanic if you think about it. Who thought of it? Like, we're gonna have a system where if you overdo it in Tartarus, you'll become tired. And then if you're tired, you can go to the nurse's office, but not actually get anything to actually help your tiredness and instead increases your <laughs> diddly d courage. I had to think of that word for a moment because my brain is bleh. Sakahiko. Maybe as like a, oh, activate his diddly d. Oh, <laughs> you're being stalked, my man. Damn, she's so persistent. She must have some kind of iron will to follow me around this much. She'll probably be a detective or something when she grows up. Professional stalker. That's a detective. Did you see that? He just threw a rock at a bird resting on that branch. That's so cruel. Da -da 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 -da. Well, I guess we'll hang out with Rio. Because Rio is good. Rio is like... Nice, but then again, last time we hung out with Rio, like, uh, her friend kind of was pushing her to, like, be in a relationship or something. The guy that's, like, after older women. So I'm kind of worried that Rio is going to go down a bad path. Hey, what's up? We have practice today. Are you going after this? Let us go and see what happened, or will happen. Hey, you look psyched. Gekko can hide, Jim. You sweat it all out while playing volleyball. Keep your eyes on the ball. Here we go. After practice ended, you decide. Oh, we didn't even get a thing. Okay. Welcome back. That's the first time I initiated a hangout, and it didn't result in an upgrade. Oh well. And I also didn't go about and check the town. Darn, I probably missed something. I am a fool! Sava State. What do you gotta say? Same stock. I can fight an enemy who uses electricity with my eyes closed. I don't suffer much damage from electricity. But ice is a different story. Wait a minute. Isn't Mitsuru's persona strong with ice? My persona is another side of me, and ice is my weakness. Is it just me, or does there seem to be a connection there? He's using psychology. Water leaking from the nuclear power plant's cooling towers. Well, that seems bad. The water was tested and found to be radioactive, but fortunately did not leave the plant. Dude, my persona's getting stronger. I think we already talked about this. Don't you just hate bullying? Yeah. I get so mad when I hear about someone getting bullied. It's just very wasteful. Spend your energy actually doing something. Why waste your time just being a dick? Because I don't think I have the courage to hang out with him. Because it said I needed to be... Well, not well, yeah, actually, status. I forgot. I need to be, like, a higher level, I think. Anybody else have anything to say? Doesn't seem like it. You need to be tough. So probably level four, because I'm at level... I forget. Anyon, doesn't Rio resemble someone else you've seen before? I don't think so. So let's look. Mm, I don't think so. At least nothing jumps out at me. Like, nobody among the characters that I've run into and stick out in my mind will not status. Let's see. No, don't think anybody... She doesn't seem all that familiar to me. 
What's available tonight at the Panic Games? Hmm, Horror House. We have a lot of money. And I think that raises my courage decently compared to the other options. And I don't think we can work at the cafe, so let's get scared. You watched a scary video in a small enclosed booth. You were alone inside, but it somehow felt like there was someone else with you. I'm not tired anymore. You overhear a conversation. Hey, did you hear that 11th grader? Oh yeah, the one who was lying on the ground this morning, right? I hope she just ran away from home, but I feel like this is the start of something big. Yeah, there might be reporters and camera crews and stuff. <sighs> I don't want to deal with it. Was it from the... Oh, was it the bully's friend? About that girl in two years? Was it the bully's friend who fell down after hearing a voice? Yeah, they haven't got a clue. They need Blue's clues. Everyone's talking about a rumor going around. Man, can you believe these people? So, did you hear the details? I have no idea. About what? Well, a girl from 2E went missing last night. Last night? This morning, they found her lying on the ground in front of the school gate. Huh. Nobody knows what happened, and supposedly, she's still unconscious. Like advanced apathy syndrome. Lighting. Called a coma. Yo, Yucatan. This is a tough case, even for Junpei Iori, ace detective. Ace detective? You're not even an ace lawyer like Phoenix Wright. Are you stupid or something? <laughs> Harsh. More like stupid, ace defective. That's not even all that clever. Hey, I resent that. Anyway, where have you been? I was talking to the teacher. About what? The girl they found? I saw her yesterday on the I from practice. I knew it! She seemed okay then. Whoa. Now that's really strange. I can't believe that Yukari murdered the girl. She has all the motive. She hates bullies. Class ended for today. I pity the fool who, who don't know when to quit. Mr. J says to throw in the towel, boy. What even is are you talking about? No way, you idiot. Don't call me an idiot, you you idiot! I'm not gonna throw in the towel, you freak. And I'm just curious to ask, but would you recount how it went with Rio every rank up in this social rank? Because there was the first one where Rio, like, was kind of. Not really, but trying to get everybody really active in the volleyball. Then I think the second one was where everybody went to the, like, date night. Or, like, I guess date day, and they just skipped volleyball and nobody told Rio. And then the third one, I think, was the aftermath of that. Where Rio got really angry at the few people who, like... Came back and they were also mean back like yeah this is why nobody loves you and you're not in a relationship and then i think it was that one that the other sports manager like came in uh for one reason or another and then talked to me and be like yeah i don't think you should leave rio alone <laughs> bad vibes then the fourth one was where the mail route magician arcana came in who's obsessed with older women for one reason or another. I forget the exact reason. Then the fifth one, I think, is what we did, where he came in again looking for the teacher who's supposed to be managing the volleyball classes. And he said things that might set Rio on the path for rushing a relationship, maybe. And I think she mentioned, Rio mentioned, that he was a friend of hers since preschool. He's kind of like a brother to her. That is what I recall. And the only people that, like, showed up during her social links are, like, the 
Magician Arcana guy, the other sports manager girl, and then the teacher, I believe. Uh, I'll skip this one and talk to you first, because you're the first one. At this point, why not just combine them and have the, the entire conversation activate by clicking on one of them? I don't know. <laughs> it's just kind of weird that you can choose to listen only to the second half. I heard a girl fainted in classroom E. She had apathy syndrome, right? I'm glad she wasn't my, from my class. It must have been because she'd stay, uh, stayed up so late, right? She just happened to faint at the school gates. Apathy syndrome is so exaggerated. I'll bet she'll wake up soon. I don't know. Apathy syndrome's pretty hardcore, lady. Still crazy lady. Once get run over by Mitsuru. Duh. I don't think we've been to the top in a while. From YouTube chat, good evening, good evening. Bullying is on the rise in Gekuken High. A girl fell to super apathy syndrome, also known as a coma. And Sayori from the library committee is just having a very bad time. Oh yeah, that girl passed out. I heard she was by herself. Seems mysterious, doesn't it? <laughs> the real mystery is man. What does that even mean? I don't really care about other people, but when it comes to mysteries like this, I get pumped. Like, I can't rest until I get to the bottom of everything. For some reason, that just makes me imagine, like, a story or a video game where you play as, like, a student in a high school or something and you're, like, trying to solve a mystery, and then in the background, there's, like, something Persona-like going on. Supernatural that you're just not aware of. Super, super apathy syndrome, question mark? Like, all the other apathy syndrome people are just walking around like zombies, super disinterested and can hardly even speak. This is the first time that they're like, ah, apathy syndrome, because they basically fell into an unresponsive state. Other apathy syndrome people are, like, still able to walk around and do things, even if they can't really talk. I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> apathy syndrome is not scientific because it's being affected by persona full moon weirdness. I guess maybe we should check out the corridor, see if there's anything. Got anything else to say? Well, wouldn't that say it's not Apathy Syndrome? But that's just it. Everybody's still calling it Apathy Syndrome. Like on the second floor, outside the classrooms, one girl says, like, Ah, oh, she came down with Apathy Syndrome. The other one said, Eh, Apathy Syndrome's overrated. Am I still tired? I'm good. So we don't need to go to the nurses. Blah, blah. I never expected anything like this to happen to someone from this school. My sister goes here, too. It's a good thing she's not the kind of girl who stays out all night. Yeah, to be fair, going out at night and getting clobbered by shadows, probably not a good for your soul. That sounds more like Shadow got them. Remember, it almost got Junpei and literally broke Akihiko's ribs. But at the same time, well, there was also like that one guy. Well, no, that guy was more like he got turned into a shadow. Actually, you know what? I just remembered. We never did follow up on that. I think it was before we even awoke our persona, there was a cutscene of a guy just in an alleyway on, like, kicking a can going grumble grumble. Then, like, the dark hour hit and he just started spewing out black liquid out of his eyes and mouth. And we just never heard of that guy again. But... Also, I guess, like, hmm, I guess it's possible that she could have, like, the potential and was out late. But it's also weird because in the cutscene before today, she was talking to her bully friend, like, ha ha ha, she ma uh, my friend made a girl cry, ha ha ha. And then a weird sound happened, which I guess kind of sounded like the shadow sound. Blah, blah, blah. And she seemed to get kind of, I don't know, off. Like, she's like, oh, what were we talking about? Did you hear that? Yeah, it just happened. <laughs> oh, you don't recall it? That weird, out-of-nowhere cutscene of the guy in an alley just 
getting overcome by black wick liquid? I have no idea. It just happened. Why did it happen? Who knows? I'm scared about all this stuff that's been happening lately. So who's going to walk me home? That does seem like a good boyfriend. Hey, have you heard about the ghost in Homerook? I have. Indeed. Let's see. What's at the mall, Jerry? Investigator lady? Another victim of those mysterious incidents was found at Gekuken. Since the victim was at the front gate, that must be the scene of the crime. After all, if the victim had been attacked somewhere else and then carried to the front gate, why would the culprit do such a thing? The reasoning doesn't add up. Anyway, there's a high probability that Gekuken itself is involved in all this somehow. Well, I mean, Tartarus does rise from there. You know, same thing with you. Arcade games. What is available on a Saturday night? We can do the quiz game. The quiz gamma. It's Saturday, so I don't think there's many places to work. <laughs> Did you take Elizabeth on the first date? Indeed, we walked around the mall and she threw like thousands of dollars worth of yin into all the fountains. And we danced outside the club because the club was like still closed. They're still talking about it, somebody. What about you? Still talking about your flowers? What do you have to say? The monorail was nearly in a big accident the other day. The other day? It's been like a week. <laughs> How'd you react? It was a funny little thing. Elizabeth is an amusing character. Let's see. And yeah, don't think so. Then again, we've, we haven't seen a movie. Did you give her the evil eye? Would you spend all that money? It was kind of a... But I could have had all that money. It could have been me. We have all my Kane, so we could hang out with the old couple. Because I think they're available every day except Saturday. Do you know that Takeoki... Takeo... My, I know how to say this, but my brain just went blah. You know that Takeyoki... Why do I want to say Yoki? It's not Yoki. Takeyaki stand over there? It seems some fine diamond. Sometimes this kid from Kansai eats all at that place, and even he says it's good stuff. Takeyaki comes from Kansai, so if a native says it tastes good, you better believe him. Whenever a customer asks me where to get a bite I, to eat, I always send him over there. You should be able... <laughs> you should basically get, like, a commission for that. My classes are so boring. My teacher's okay, but... I'm so jealous of the classroom next door. I always hear laughter coming from it. They're getting tortured over there. No, not every day, but Saturday I meant Monday. My brain just bleh. It should be open every day but Monday. I think I was focused on the day that's there. The little girl is there. Hmm. So we could either do the quiz game. See what's at the movies. Eh, let's actually let's hang out with the old couple. <laughs> the child. The evil, evil child that demanded takiyaki and a drink that's only available from the dorm when the dorm advances the day and she disappears for like a week. <laughs> well, we have started her social link. In fact, we should have a persona that's good for her social link, I think. But it's been a bit since we've hung out with the old couple. So I want to hang out with them. Because they, they're nice. I just hope, like, we're pretty deep into their social link, I think. And nothing bad's happened so far. Nothing ominous, I don't think. So let's see. You decide to spend some time at the bookstore. 
and hope that nothing bad happens. The Watadai strip, strip mall bookworms used books. Don't you think so too, Neon-chan? My, my dear. As you spent time with Bunkichi and Mitsuko, the bond between you grew stronger. You feel that your relationship with them will grow stronger soon. Nah, just another... Basic, basic. Oh, hey! <laughs> I finished their social link first, to be honest. Yeah, that, that's fair, because they're like... The easiest to do, it seems. They're open every single day except Monday. Did you hear the rumor going around school? People can be so immature sometimes. I mean, it's just a ghost story. The, the, like, the rec room or the person falling down? Anyway, I'm not feeling very well, so I won't be able to go to Tartarus tonight. Sorry. I'll probably just watch a little TV and then go to bed early. That's a mood. Let's talk to everybody. The child social link, I would recommend getting it further. Okie doke. We'll see, we'll see. <laughs> That's funny. Yukari said, I don't think I'll go to Tartarus tonight, sorry. Immediately followed by Akihiko saying, We're not going to Tartarus today. Mitsuru is training, and Yukari has a weird feeling. I wonder what that means. Hmm, it seems Yukari has a sixth sense when it comes to shadows. Actually, that's quite common. Dealing with shadows has a tendency to enhance other senses. Interesting. If you're an Aquarius, then your lucky color is red. For extra luck, try sticking your thumbs up all day long. What? Oh my god, Stupe, I can't sleep like this. I'd be happy to sleep with you if it helps. Again, Junpei, why are you a weirdo only outside of the social links? <sighs> Maybe I should call the police, or better yet, Mitsuru Senpai. Please, anything but that. Yukaten's freaking out for no reason. All I said to her was that someone might be in her room, or under her bed, or in her closet. I mean, come on, that's nothing to get all worked up about, right? That's not funny. <laughs> Why not? Do you get scared easily like Yukari? I didn't expect that, but it's kind of cute. Following on from recommend progressing the child's social link. It unlocks one of the most honestly difficult social links to go through if you want to be emotionally destroyed. Oh boy! Well, that sounds fun. I'm sorry, but I'm in the middle of training my persona to search for enemies. The others appear to be busy as well, so let's postpone going to Tartarus tonight. I guess if there's nothing to do here, we might as well check out Dem Mall. Yeah, Junpei is just kind of ever so slightly weird purely because he's like super easygoing in all of the social links to the point he's even like, hey! What if I helped you get together with Akihiko Senpai? I'll be your wingman. And then in the story, he's a weirdo. See if there's anything here. You're still here, but we're still a coward. Can't approach the angry man. Oh no, it's Tanaka. Yep. Last time he talked to us about the ability of uh, doing stock trading. Let's see what's available at Game Panic Quiz Game. Hmm. Maybe. I'm gonna see if I have any devil persona available at all. And we can also check. Nope, still that. Let's see. Persona Compendium. Do we have any devils in here? We do not. What about Fears Personas? Let's check Triangle. Chimera and Unicorn. We can get a moon guy called Gur. We could I hmm. 
Gur is actually pretty interesting. Power Slash. Interesting looking, at least. And we haven't seen a moon one before. <gasps> Principality! Pyrojack. G Death Ghoul. But we can't do it because it's at level 18. Take Minakata. But level 21 definitely can't do you. Neko Shogun! But you're level 19, you bastard! But it's a Neko Shogun! Borneus. More of that. Naga. Hmm. That would actually be not that bad because Yomotsu going into a stronger hermit. Apparently would recommend Gur. Hmm. The problem is that does also require me to get rid of Chimera and Unicorn. Oh, no. Uh, Chim well, still requires me to get rid of Chimera and Unicorn. Let's see what other ones we can maybe do. <laughs> we can get Legion. Which seems horrifying. Oh my Kane. Bereth? For Hierophant. Hmm. That's the main problem with, like, this one, because, like, I can yoink them out of the compendium. Ah, <laughs> uh, McCoy. One away. And more Neko Shoguns than I can't get. And Oberon. Oh, oh, for a moment I was like, ah, we could get you, but no, it's the same one. Let's see what straightforward does. An Agami. More Yomotsu, Yomotsu. Valkyrie, Fortuna. Chimera, Oberon. Lots of Oberon. I only recommend Gur because of me actually hemorrhaging money to get Gur later on. Alright, maybe. Um, I'll look into that maybe then. Omoi Kane. Huh. Because that would level him up a lot. But that's still getting rid of Unicorn. Well, let's see. Oh, wait. McCoy? Nope. McCoy is still level 18. Can't get you. Ba -ba. So maybe we'll grab Gur. Maybe. So I think it was in available. But let me check the compendium for like prices. Cause if I wanna yoink out Unicorn, that takes six thousand. And then Chimera, that's seven thousand. I had trouble with the Moon Arcana, if it's not apparent. <laughs> we haven't even run into... We've so... There's so many Arcanas that I've yet to run into. That also makes me wonder, like, how many of the... Like, social links changed from... Like... The male to female routes. Hmm. Raksha for strength. Lots of slashes. Oh, level 22 Legion. Hmm. Actually, let me go back here. Because there's one... 
Because if we combine Unicorn and Omoikane, we can get a fairly high-level Chariot. But then the problem is that we don't have an Aggie on anybody. I don't think. But then again, we have, like... That's the main thing, the Feast or Famine gameplay of this. Hmm. I guess I could, like, fuse Alp. Uh, but at the same time, the Emperor, pers like, Arcana is one that we're kind of... Blah, blah, blah. It's, we're kind of neglecting because the... Student Council isn't that interesting to me so far. Ta -da. Da -da. Also, I'd wait until you get to Tartarus again to fuse. That's also fair. I came in there to look and see if there was any... Like, devils I could easily fuse. Because I have nothing better to do with my time than maybe spend time with Tanaka. Especially if it seems like the Devil Arcana seems to be a more higher level, like, blah blah blah, what's the word? A rarer to get, like, persona-wise. But I guess it wouldn't hurt to invest a bit in Mr. Tanaka, you know, as he likes to do with his, what's the word, with his stocks. So, let's hang out with Tanaka. Oh, it's you. Let's get that free lesson, I guess. I have nothing better to do tonight. My, you're enthusiastic. Today's lesson is called... The smaller the dog, the louder its bark. That's an odd phrase. Don't think I've ever heard that before. Like, what does that even mean? Like, chihuahuas are bastards? Have you ever wondered what it would be like to be able to see through people's bathing suits at the beach? What does that have to do with the smaller the dog, the louder the bark? My dude. Like, what even? Uh? The honest answer is I would hope not. But if we're going to look at things at, like, what Tanaka would want, he would kind of want an immoral person. Be like, ah, oh, if you had the power. Have you ever thought to have the power to intrude on other people's privacy? He's a capitalist. He, Of course he'd want to do this, so I'll say, sure, to ingratiate ourselves to this freak. You have a pretty face, but inside you're a middle-aged man. <laughs> can we use that angle in a campaign? A girl who can talk with the middle-aged? That ah, won't last long. <laughs> President Tanaka is nodding. Our company has introduced a special filter for digital cameras. Simply attach it to your camera and voila, start peeping. I don't think that's how science works. We've been advertising it in adult magazines. Our ad slogan is undress them with your camera eye. It's been selling like hotcakes. In fact, it's our number one seller. I feel like you're gonna get shot. Unfortunately, customers have been complaining that it doesn't work. Well, I would hope that it wouldn't work. I told my employees to just ignore them. Nowhere does it guarantee that you'll be able to see anything. And it's not like anyone would actually admit they bought one. He has a point. <laughs> like, when it comes to Japan, like, if you're selling this in Japan, I could imagine people being like, ooh, I'll buy this on the sly. And then go, ah, oh, damn it, it doesn't work. It's not like they're gonna sue. They're too polite for that. If he tried to pull this in America, he'd have a class, lash, a class action lawsuit with a million people ready to go for his head. Because <laughs> America has no shame. 
By the way, try to cut back on the donuts and cupcakes. I have an idea for an ad campaign. Oh, and keep playing around at night. Uh, and try to keep playing around at night to a minimum. The innocent look may be old, but being viewed as promiscuous is still a minus for your image. Your act in front of the man you want, right? You need to do the same for the customers in front of the TV. You listen to the present Tanaka share his advice. You feel like you understand him a little better now. Once again, I do not. You can fuse your first devil with Nekomata or Angel. I do have them in my compendium. So maybe we can play around with the compendium next time we go fusing in Tartarus. Have you been keeping your promise? You didn't tell anyone, did you? If you go back on your word, it won't be my fault if you get lots of pizzas delivered to you. Where did that even start? <laughs> His threats are so amusing. There's no school today. Who's calling? Hello, this is Sayori. I'm not bothering you, am I? <laughs> Sorry, I'm tied up. The conversation hasn't even started! Hasn't even started! I guess I'll put on a safe state just in case. Because... Since we've, we're getting late into her one, if we do this hangout... It'll probably give us enough points to do her level 6 social link without a just wasting time social link. <laughs> it's okay. If you're free, do you want to go somewhere? Since you have the bip. What should you do? Accept the offer. Oh, that makes my day. I'll see you later then. Sayori seems excited. Luckily, I wasn't called later. Polonia Mall, Game Panic. You're having a good time hanging out with Sayori. Ah, uh, that was so much fun. I didn't know that arcades could be this great. I've never been seen games that use your entire body. Sayori seems to be having fun. Say, did you see the fortune telling machine? You enter your data and the data of your person you like and it tells you if the two are good to match or not. How could a machine know how things will work out between two people without knowing them in person? Sayori is smiling. It seems you can input two girls on the machine too and it'll show their level of friendship. I wonder. I say, that sounds interesting. Do you like fortune telling, Neon Chan? I see. Oh, sir, I was just surprised to hear you say that. If it's alright, would you like to try it out with me next time? Sayori is smiling. Your friendship seems to be stuck in a rut. Damn it. I picked bad choices. I guess. Hmm. Do I want to save scum or not to save scum? It was less obvious than the Rio one. I think I'll just accept that I failed and wasted my time. Well, actually, at the same time, wasting my time. Huh. I shall accept the consequences of my actions. <laughs> it was my fault. <laughs> Chat says to save scum. Ah, oh, sure, why not? Extra reason to do the save state. It's okay. So I just, I don't know which one she preferred. But interesting that it's just like, it's hilarious because we have all this Arcana stuff. Of course we'd do it. There's let's try it next time and I bet it's BS. Since we're dedicated to save scummy, let's go ahead and make a save state. Cause she just said, how could the machine know? So let's say, I bet it's BS. <laughs> I'm sure it is. Fortune telling itself is just a scam to begin with. I admit I was really into fortune telling once. It was a time when I had nothing else to rely on. But in the end, it did nothing for me. No help or fortune came to me. It's just a hoax. That, okay, that makes sense why. <laughs> okay, I'm glad that I saved Scummed because that kind of adds more to, like, our understanding of Sayori. And, huh... Yeah, today you learned something new about her. Depression. Welcome back. Why are you hanging out over here? That's new. We'll do our save, talk to everybody, and see what's going on. 
Save State. Tartarus seems to have an unstable formation tonight. There may be more accidents than usual. Be on your guard. Talk. This incident is quite bothersome. As president of the student council, I need to do something. It just isn't normal, but I have no idea what's going on. You know about the computer behind the counter, right? The school makes us send them updates on how things are going here at the dorm. See, that's what Mitsuru's doing right now. Interesting. Damn. Rumors spread fast, especially this one. Everyone at school knows about it, and soon everyone in town will too. Turn on the television. On the next episode of Phoenix Ranger Featherman R, episode 15, High School Combat, Sing Your Heart Out, Feather Swan. And now the news. The victim was that girl who was bullying. It may just be a coincidence, but something doesn't seem right about it. What do you think, Neon? Considering everything we've been through, something's definitely not right. Hey, don't scare me like that. You're the one who asked. You also admitted that it was weird. We're going to check out the mall just to see. Just the lady. Apathy syndrome guy. Da, 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 da. Punching bag, mole whackers, lucky fortune, which is just all various. Oh, but it's... Oh, it's Sunday. Aw, oh, damn it. I missed the sale again. I missed the sale at the goddamn bar. I missed the sale at the pharmacy again. da 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 Need some revival beads. Definitely want more medical powder. Just in case we need to raise my health mid combat. And I think that's all I'll buy. Because there doesn't seem to be much to do tonight. I don't think we can work anywhere. The club is mostly just to house the monk that I can't talk to. And nothing else. Chat says do karaoke. I haven't raised my courage since uh, the horror stuff. And since we want to talk to the monk, and I think we're one, like, stat up in courage from it, I guess it wouldn't be a terrible thing to do some karaoke. Oh, it's very busy. Damn it. Let's see. Am I tired? I'm good. But we also haven't raised our charm in a while. So let's go ahead and get some charm going. Through the power of coffee, you become more charming. It's the first of the new month. June has begun. Good morning. There seems to be a sense of restlessness in the air. I agree. Well, I just hope it doesn't have anything to do with shadows. Akihiko said we may be receiving a new member, but we don't know when we'll be attacked. So remain alert at all times. Class ended for the day. We'll go ahead and save. And I do believe that we will stop here because we've been going for three hours, even though like half of that was because I had to redo that segment of Tartarus, but we did go farther in Tartarus that time. And I had a better, like, understanding of the combat to a degree. If you have money, spend it for healing at the clock. <laughs> and hope that your people don't get tired before then. Because we beat the another Midway boss at Tartarus. We did a bunch of social links. And ominous things are happening at the school. Ominous! Also, it feels like the school uniform has changed. Maybe.
Chad is saying push it, presumably to continue it, but I don't think I shall because I don't, I don't want to run into another Ace Attorney where I'm like, oh yeah, oh yeah, I'll just go a little bit longer, nothing terrible will happen, and then it's, it's seven hours later. I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to push it, especially I don't want to burn myself out too much. I need to preserve the brain. But I'm really enjoying Persona 3. Even if I do think that the combat is a little clunky past a certain point, where it doesn't feel like there's an even ground, where it's either, like, I don't know, it just feels a bit weird. Apparently 15 minutes. They want me to push it 15 more minutes. Well, I guess we can if it's only 15 minutes. If it'll happen this day. Uh, you know, those rumors, is, it is a little creepy. I hope I never see a ghost. I'd be so freaked out. <laughs> I'm loving listening to you and your experience. One of my favorite games. <laughs> I'm glad to at least be interesting and amusing with it. But I bet Akihiko Senpai wouldn't flinch for a moment. Man, it'd be awesome if Akihiko Senpai could be with me to protect me. Rumors suck, man. I wonder about the girl who collapses already all over the school. I hope no one spreads any rumors about me. We can hang out with Ryo. I forgot that. I thought she was saying normal things. Everyone's talking about the ghost and that kind of stuff. I hate those kinds of jokes. Like how they say the ghost will get you if you stay at school for too long. Um, I better get going. See ya. We can hang out with Rio. Everyone's talking about ghosts. Ah, everyone's talking about ghosts and whatnot. I guess they're all really scared. I'm fine though. If a ghost gave me trouble, Mitsuru Senpai would cut it right in half. To see her fight with a sword, I don't know if I could take it. They said a girl in classroom C fainted too. Apathy syndrome again, right? Phew. I'm glad it wasn't someone in my class. I told you, she just happened to faint in front of the gate. Apathy syndrome is so overrated. They'll get better if you give them some time. I do like that there's like different models. Like the various characters. And I'm good, so we can't go to the nurse's office. So we might just end up hanging out with Rio. Akihiko is here. So, I wonder if I could hang out with Akihiko. Maybe. But I feel like, I don't know, like there'd be more opportunities to hang out with party members than non-party members. I'm waiting for my boyfriend to scare stuff. Walking home. Da da da. Well, that's a C. Another apathy syndrome guy. He's just getting worse. What do you think, old man? I know this guy from when I was your age. He was a grave digger. He told me when you die, I'll dig your fine big grave. It was nice of him. Good friends are a blessing, they really are. Well, that's one way to do it. See if there's anything interesting. Game panic? Nope, just stat raisers. I'm not even sure if that's a good way of doing it. Akiko is a stat check. Ah. Let's see, do you have any requests? Nope. See if there's any difference with anybody. Yeah, same ominous, like, mention of a person. For a stringer guy. <laughs> Have you ever played Catherine? I know of it, but I haven't played it myself. Like, maybe it's on my list of get to eventually. There's just so many games. So many games that I need to get to eventually. Foreshadowing guy of hippie Jesus. We can hang out with the girl. I think we have. Let's see. 
Girl at the Shrine. Let's see, I think we have a Hanged Man in Inugami. Then I guess we can do our social link activity with the little girl. Because we've been going... Because we've done Rio a bit. It's been a bit since we've done... Like, progressed this social link. Hmm. Well, let's see. Oh, hi! What are we going to play today? It seems Maiko wants to play with you. Would you like to spend time with her? Um, what should we do? Maiko seems happy. You're spending time with Maiko at the playground. I'm hungry. Can we go to Wild Duck Burger? I would assume, like, the best answer would be to say yes, because we want to be nice to the child who's had presumably bad time. Sure, child, let's go to Wild Duck Burger. Let's raise your courage. Let's raise your courage there. Yeah, I can't wait. I wonder which toy they're giving out today. I want to apologize I've been overexcited to watch and interact with you. Oh, no problem at all. You haven't been overbearing, which is very, very nice. You're just like, there's a difference between like overbearing and excited, even if excited can become overbearing. But you haven't crossed that line, I don't think. Especially since you said, continue, continue, it's just 15 more minutes, which is fine enough. It's like a day or two more. Let's go to Wild Duck Burger. And that horrific duck in the background. You walked today strip mall Wild Duck Burger. The hours flew by as you enjoyed a tasty meal. This is yummy. I love going out to eat. Because mom and dad never argue when we go out to eat. That does seem to be the Japanese way of things. When we're out in public, nobody must know. They never used to argue. You have to believe me. But why would they get a divorce? Hmm, why would they? Hmm. Because definitely not that one. I don't want to hurt her. Ask your parents. I kind of don't want to do that one either because I don't want to put her in her parents' crosshairs. Because it could just be they fell out of love. Because I don't know. Because if they argue a lot, if, you, if she asks her parents, that could make it worse. So I think I'll just say they fell out of love. Fell out of love? Maiko's about to start crying. I don't want him to get a divorce. Do they really hate me that much? Divorce is dumb. I hate it. Bleh. I think I chose the wrong option. Maiko is sobbing loudly. What will you do? Hmm. I feel like we should... Like... Probably try to calm her down. I wish it was just, like, try to comfort her, because I don't want to be mean to her. But wait for her to finish crying. Like, I don't know. Let's try to calm her down. You tried to calm her down. I'm sorry. I know it's embarrassing when I cry. I'll try not to cry anymore. Micah's trying her best to smile. The relationship is stronger now. Huzzah. The girl at the shrine social link has reached level two. Um, I guess I should go. Thanks for playing with me today. You return to the dorm. Oh, things are happening. I guess I shall make an emergency save state. Just in case. The dormitory lounge. You're talking with the others over dinner. We have dinner together? Hey, Yucatan, have you seen the posts on the student message board? Like online? You know how last week that girl was found by the front gate? Well, there's this rumor that it was an angry spirit from this one ghost story. Considering that we fight shadows, ghosts aren't, like, that unbelievable. Hey, come on. Nobody believes that stuff. Right? So, what is this ghost story about? <laughs> Mitsuru is interested. What? It's probably made up, so why bother? I'm interested. Go ahead and tell us. Uh... <laughs> Junpei leaned forward and spoke in a mysterious voice. 
You don't know where he got it from, but he took out a flashlight. Good evening. Well, I think they even modified the art. Believe it or don't, there are many strange things in this world. According to one story, if you get caught at school late at night, you'll be devoured by a maniacal ghost that roams the halls. We can't even go there at night because Tartarus shows up. The other day, this friend of mine, let's call him Shoot. <laughs> he said to me, Junpei, I saw something strange. He sounded serious, so I asked him what he'd seen. He said it was about the girl in 2E. He claims he saw her go into the school on the night of the incident. What was he doing at the, the school at night to see it? I couldn't believe it. She's not the kind of girl to be out at night. But Shu was as white as a sheet. He insisted it was true. Yeah. Then, it hit me. That ghost must have tried to make her its dinner. And that's why they found her lying on the ground by the gate. But how do you even get into the school? Because at night, it's like the gate's closed. They did alter his art. and the original game, he straight up points a light in his face. That's a neat detail. Like, even if they don't do, like, 3D models for, like, the storytelling in this version, I do like that they went through the effort to modify the art to, like, still give that effect. I felt a chill run down my spine, and I broke into a cold sweat. Yes, there are strange things in this world. Believe it or don't. What do you think, Akihiko? Huh? <laughs> Not one word about my frankly amazing performance just now? I think it's worth investigating. Oh boy. Wow, I didn't know you were afraid of ghosts, Yucatan. That's kind of funny. Hey, watch it. She'll throw you to the ghosts. Fine. Then let's investigate. We'll each ask around for the rest of the week. I'll prove to you that this ghost story is just an urban legend. I appreciate that. The story is a bit unnerving. And besides, if we can at least disprove it to ourselves, it's one less thing to worry about. Then I'll let you guys handle it. Just make sure you sleep with one eye open. <laughs> what? Poor Yukari. For the child, you nailed the only choice that mattered for the social link. Man. I, I can only assume that was going to Wild Duck Burger. That's kind of sad, though, that comforting the child doesn't help her, no. It's kind of sad. You tried to help the child. You fool. I'm busy researching the ghost story online, so I'm going to pass on Tartarus today. Hmm, this isn't good. So many inquiries from parents and reporters alike. Damn, rumors spread fast, especially this one. Same thing. Yukari seems serious. Why? Well, I'll just go check out what she's doing and you'll know right away. Well, if Yukari isn't going, perhaps we shouldn't either. However, there may be ghosts haunting the school. Interesting. The sky is covered in dark clouds. For those who are fighting the light has not yet broken through. That was our special report. Coming up next is the news. Guess we'll quickly check the mall. Doesn't seem to be anything new here. But I think we'll end there because we got a little bit more story, the ghost story, that we can talk to people about in the future. A new arc for, like, us to investigate. That isn't just, oh no, the apathy syndrome is happening. <laughs> but it is kind of funny that th we're like, <laughs> since we're dealing with shadows anyway, what's ghosts? Then again, wouldn't our personas kind of count as ghosts? They're kind of metaphysical beings out to <laughs> that come from our own power. The world is wacky. But yeah, I am really enjoying Persona 3. Again, I think like the combat can be a little bit clunky and it's feast or famine, where very rarely does it feel like it's just like even, 
where you don't really have an advantage on the enemy, but the enemy isn't really a threat. It seems to be very much dependent on the weaknesses. And then, like, it definitely feels like you need to brute force the first round to get that all-out attack on certain ones. Which I guess is kind of interesting in its own right, that there are enemies that are kind of weak if you have their weakness, but they also are still a threat. I don't know, it's just like little finicky to your... It all. I guess it's all a matter of taste. It's all a matter of taste there. For me, I feel like uh, having to pour all of my SP into specific attacks and not being able to manage my team as well because I don't have like a timeline of actions coming up to be like, ah, only one enemy will attack, so then my next ally who has like the weakness to the enemy can then attack. Can't really plot that. But I do understand that the reason for that is probably because this is still based off of Persona 3. So, like the overall gameplay is still kind of based on that, even if this is, I think, a modified Persona 4 engine, I think? I forget. But basically, while this is slightly updated Persona 3, it is still Persona 3 gameplay-wise. So I guess they assumed most players would want to brute force enemies in their round, since you could only control the main character in the original Persona 3. Neutral level with shadows is based on your level. It's a big weird. Ah, that explains it. That explains why some enemies that were, like, super easy to take down earlier are still, like, kind of scaling with me. And why, like, the unicycle tiger was like... Or, not tiger, lion. It's a lion. It has a mane. Why do I keep making that mistake? Tiger is striped like Tigger from Winnie the Pooh. Lion is the Lion King, you idiot. But yeah, just like the the unicycle lion. Like I never missed any attacks against him back in the first section of Tartarus. And then we started running into him again in the upper levels of the second part of Tartarus and we're missing him every now and then. So them raising in level makes sense, but there's no indication that they're raising in level with you, which I think is a bit of a bother. <laughs> Stats indeed. Personally, I think it would have been nice if they actually show you the level of enemies in specific areas. Maybe they do, but I don't think they do. Because I think they just show you the name. Because that way you can be like, ah, this enemy is a higher level. I should be afraid of them. Because again, it's that kind of lack of feedback along with the RNG of missing. That kind of brings the gameplay down. Also, I think I'm getting a, a good grip on the feast or famine aspect. <laughs> For this game, the higher you go, the higher the levels. True. It's just that, like, again, being able to, like, because, like, if you see an enemy you've already fought in a lower level, it's just randomly a higher level, but you don't know that. You can't actually tell. It's a little funky. Whereas, again, like, with Pokemon, if you see a Nidoran, and it's, like, level 10, maybe you don't fear it. If you see later a Nidoran at level 20, maybe you fear it kind of thing. Like, you need context in, like, relation to yourself. And the game doesn't really give you that. Until they start beating you down and doing major damage to you. But still... It's just something you have to overcome a lot of the trial and error gameplay with it. But the characters are neat. I kind of enjoy the slow burn aspect of it. Because it is a essentially a high school simulator, like social simulator, latched on with JRPG combat mechanics at night. And so there's kind of that two-tiered aspect. The stuff that's like, what is just everyday normal stuff and what is supernatural? And trying to figure that out, which is neat. But yeah, I'm enjoying Persona 3 and I can't wait to see what else there is. <laughs> Even if we're going super slow and we're only now in the third month of the game when we started partway through April. <laughs> 
So it starts at level 10, 11, this big block, and it'll jump five-ish levels every time you beat a boss. Yeesh. So now I'm going to be fighting enemies that are like 16 to 20. Harsh. But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. The next time I stream should be on Wednesday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. Because I try to stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. Next time we'll just see, like, what else there is to do. See if we can raise our courage, maybe, to talk to the monk. But if you want other things from me, everything that I do can be found in my link tree. Linktr.ee slash neonicywings. With links to everything that I do, like my edited content YouTube channel, my streaming Twitch and YouTube, depending on your preference, with all of these streams being uploaded to my YouTube streaming channel after the fact for quality. Oh, and I'll be able to see levels soon. I, I, I didn't even think that that was going to be a mechanic. I just thought the game didn't let you do that. <laughs> but other things you can find in my link tree are... Links to the sites where I post art, like my little character in the corner, as well as my end slate. So if you want to see art that I make, various sites are linked there. And then if you want to read stories I've doth written, some sites I post writing to can be found there as well. And finally is my Patreon, which is basically just a glorified donation bucket for the extraordinarily kind. Until maybe in the future, where I can actually do unique and exclusive things for those people that really do throw money my way. But yes, but yes. I do believe that will be it for now, and thank you very much for watching, everybody. Just remember, be you, be true, be happy, but most importantly, be kind and stay hydrated, and thank you for spending your time with me. Bye-bye. <laughs>